Welcome back to Mass Effect 1. Why are the turrets facing the wrong way? They want to keep their people in as much as they want to keep others out. We return to Novaria to peak 15. Where Lady Benezia is up to some shit. But what? We don't know just yet. Although, depending on what I do now, does affect Mass Effect 3, actually. I could make a decision that'll allow certain uh, creatures to show up in Mass Effect 3. Although, when I played this game the first time, um, I chose the alternate decision that would have stopped that. But we'll get to that when we actually get to that. <clears throat> In the meantime, we've got Geth to fight amongst other forces. Um, I think they mentioned Asari Commandos as well. No, don't. Stop floating away. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I have no idea why the camera just left my body. Now, I believe this reveal isn't exactly... No, 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 I, I don't know. We didn't confront the Rachni with the, the Cerberus folk. It was the Creepers. Uh, the Rachni are different. And I believe uh, I'll let the characters talk about them once we've defeated these last two guys. Because their presence is significant. Now notice that uh, when they're hitting Tally, they're going through her shields. Xenobiology is not my field. Maybe someone in the labs knows. Hmm. Well, I suppose it makes sense that. Uh, they haven't seen those creatures. Perimeter clear. Uh, so I guess uh, we're going to be looking for a survivor first. And then get an explanation from them. Uh, perhaps, uh, if not a survivor, I believe we're supposed to restore the power. Uh, so in that case, we would get our explanation from the virtual intelligence. Uh... Ah, barrier, barrier, shield boost. Actually, why am I doing the shield boost? I already uh, acknowledge the fact that uh, their weapons uh, go through our shields. That's That ability is pretty much useless to fight those uh, foes. It's, it's kind of like, with the elevators, like they created something to kind of be a transition between two separate places of the level, but you know it's like, okay, I'm in an elevator now, I'm safe. Everybody's standing absolutely still. They've tucked their weapons away. Oh no, Tally, you're almost dead. I guess I should heal you. Critical startup error. Huh. Okay, yeah, we got the virtual intelligence to boot up, which requires... 
going to the fusion reactor, maybe? It's been a while since I've done this part. Yeah, we'll end up having to do every... ...sequence, so it's not really that big of a deal, like, what order. Okay, I've got too much Omnigel. I, I've, I think I got a full capacity of Omnigel. Like ah, crap. Pop-up advertising. It's only a matter of time before it's telling me I should log into Facebook. You're the virtual intelligence that runs this place? This system is monitored to respond to the name Mira. May I ask your name? Hmm. Commander Shepard. I work for the Citadel Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. One moment. Also please. called Stair. Council authority confirmed. You are entitled to secure access of all systems. Please note that queries relating to corporate secrets require privileged access. Privileged access is only available to Binary Helix executives. This system is ready to process queries. You may access me at any holographic interface within Peak 15. I need to find Matriarch Benezia. Lady Benezia departed on the passenger tramway to the Rift Station subsidiary labs. User alert. The tramway system is currently inoperable. What's the situation? What's the here? damage? One moment, please. Diagnostic I think the power's progress. down, the critical failure. Yep. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Critical failure. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger tram systems are offline. Report complete. Do you have an additional system status query? Tell me what happened here. I'm sorry, but I need a more specific query. Hmm. The creatures we've encountered here, did they come from the labs? I'm sorry, Commander. Inquiries related to our research require privileged access. Only executives of Binary Helix have that level of clearance. That's all I need right now. Very well, Commander. Logging you out. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Okay, so it's basically kind enough to tell me, uh... User alert. Wait. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger trams are offline. Do I need to go up there? Eh, why not? Now exiting to the roof. I think alert. there's only Landline one thing to do there anyway, so... Passenger trams are offline. But alas, even my Spectre status is not a good enough for the, vir for the virtual intelligence. I believe I'm, I get a pass, like an ID card at some point that proves myself. That I don't remember. Ah, more Rachni. And who needs to see anyway? Eyesight is being able to see what you're fighting against. Oh no, Tally. Now, what's kind of disappointing is that there's no point in time in which, um, you find... Area secured. Um, where you find, uh, Rachni and Geth fighting against each other. Which would have made perfect amount of sense. Being that they're not exactly allies. Because, like, you look at that initial, uh, arrival User inside alert. the lab. Yes, yes, yes. Main reactor shut down in accordance, with, accordance with emergency containment Manual. procedures. Alright, we got the landlines repaired. People can make phone calls from their rotary telephones. Uh, now we can go turn the power back on so that Mira can stop telling us the power is off. Um, but yeah, when we showed up, the Geth showed up, and they're like, hey, we're gonna shoot you, but we killed the Geth, and then the Rack and I are like, oh no, we're monsters. 
Like everybody's taking their turn. Because they're very polite bad guys. User alert. Ah. Shut down in ah. with it's a monster. <laughs> and I believe actually um, the reason for you being here and the existence of said monsters um are directly connected as to why they're on Novaria. Oh, uh, on Novaria. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. You know, I she wasn't saying anything until I turned her on. Now she won't stop talking. User alert. <sighs> Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. All right, let's save the game. Ah, that's convenient. Uh, that uh, Tally was able to hack the destroyer, although some reason my shotgun is not dissipating heat. Okay, there it goes. There we go. Okay, I believe for this I might have to like hit two switches. User alert. Main <sighs> reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. I wonder if there's a manual restart required as a Accordance to uh, emergency procedures. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Once again, I don't really understand the difficulty setting on these uh, decryptions. Like there are easy decryptions that go on for like five or six button presses. Ow. And then there are some that just kind of, there are hard ones that go on for three, so. Like, what makes a specific decryption easy, and what makes a specific decryption hard? Hmm. Also, where is that? User alert. Main reactor shut oh, that's probably down below me, then. Emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Possibly. At the very least, the presence of a bad guy nearby me means I can actually sprint. As opposed to do that awkward thing where the camera just zooms in. Take that, barrel. Oh, that's it. You have completed repairs to peak 15. Yep, there it is. He did not last very long. Now, I've only managed to just turn on the... Uh, power and such. I don't, that doesn't necessarily mean that I have access to uh, any of the Peak 15 files. So that's the main reason I didn't uh, reactivate uh, the virtual intelligence. Because basically all she's going to tell me is, you know those repairs that you just made? Uh, those repairs are complete. You can proceed. So there's not too much of a reason to talk to her. So spooky. Clear. 
didn't quite come out of the shadows, but close enough. Alert. Loose contaminants in the decontamination chamber. Access to passenger tramways inadvisable. Hmm. I don't remember what the loose contaminants mean. I wonder if that's just, uh, more rachni. Oh yeah, and I can, um... I can purge them out of there. Yeah. See, that brings back fond memories of, uh... Uh, that reminds me of the good days of of uh, Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic, where they focused more on giving you multiple uh, solutions to any given, jeez, any given gameplay problem. It's over now. Whereas, like, the bigger budget game you get, the more often than not, the main solution you have to any problem is by shooting your guns at the bad guys until they die from it. Although, like, the presence of the Geth in the Rachni and the Asari commandos that Lady Byzantia brings with her, it's like, um, she left the Geth to keep the Noveria security out of, out of the building. The Rachni are just there. And then the Asari Commandos are with her. So that creates kind of like an artificial multiple levels of security. Now arriving at Rift Station, Binary Helix Research Facility. Though I wonder if the Geth move into the facility and they don't and, and they, they uh, come into the facility and they remain in place, unmoving. Um, would the Rachni recognize them as creatures to be attacked? And I forgot about this sequence, because there, I believe there's actually people you run into. And then you can save some of them. And this kind of like, this area kind of circles around itself. There's the hot labs. But right now it looks like we're going towards the residential wing. Um, but I believe we'll eventually go to the hot labs in order to uh, uh, set off a bomb or something that uh, kills off all the rachni in this area. sure what was on the tram can those things work at trains controls hell if I know I'm not assuming any goddamn thing yeah that's safe you're human and that's enough that I won't shoot but I'd like to know who you are my name's Shepard I'm a specter huh. I won't look a heavily armed horse in the mouth the aliens overran the hot labs last week only Han Olar got out and he ain't all there anymore but first we knew the bastards were clawing into my command post we had a lot more staff then. Hey, you're still alive. You were taken by surprise and had civilians to protect. You did a good job, Captain. Yeah? Sure as hell doesn't feel like it. No, except accept my compliment. She went to the hot labs yesterday. We haven't heard from her since. I'm not gonna let any of your people die. All I can do is hold out here and protect the civilians. There's an emergency elevator out by the trams. This card will let you activate it. it. Can take you down to the hot labs. Oh, and if you need any first aid, Dr. Cohen's downstairs in the med bay. Um I believe once this conversation finishes, we'll be attacked. What can you tell me about the aliens. Ask Dr. Olar. He's the only one who made it out of the hot labs. It's the only volus left in here. Hmm. I've got work to do. Yeah, I hear that. 
Hell, man the perimeter. Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Excellent. Thanks for the help. Every few hours, a group comes up the tram tunnel. It's actually better since we locked down the elevator. I'll do whatever I can. I don't know why they keep throwing themselves against our defenses. Even animals should learn not to stick their noses where it hurts. Although kind of disapp disappointing that even though, like... Like, there's no pile of corpses of the Rachni they've been fighting. Just kind of, like, tucked off in a corner. Now, I could go directly to the hot labs, but let's kind of take a walk around. Uh, see if we can talk to the Volus uh, that escaped. Get, like, some sort of answer as to what's going on here. And also, this is... Okay, so that does... Sheesh. That goes to the secure lab. I don't think we have to worry about that just yet. And I don't think we need to worry about the quarantine lab. Uh, these guards, they they don't need these weapons anyway. They're probably dead. And there's even a vendor who is willing to try to make money despite everything going wrong. You're a member of the science teams. Recently transferred, yes. What do you do here? Molecular genetics. I specialize in biotic enhanced allele specific hybridization. Yeah, that's a bit technical for me. <laughs> I am very good at tracking inherited variations in genetic sequences. I'm sure you would find it quite dull. Tell me about yourself. I am Alestia Alice from the University of Arrhenius. Is there anything in particular you want to know, or should I just spout random facts? Uh, spout random facts. Did I interrupt something? I was meditating. I suppose to a species as brash as yours, it would appear to be inattention. Sorry, I'll leave. Then I will return to my meditations. Uncertain. I welcome you. Cautiously, I am curious to know what you're doing here. Truly, that is the remake of Hamlet we're still waiting for. Um, I heard there were some problems up here. Furtively, I am concerned about the state of our guards. Many have been awake for days. For now, with forced cheer, I still have a limited supply of equipment to sell. Let's have a look. Regretfully, most of my stock is being appropriated by Captain Ventralis. Which would make sense, considering that they're in the middle of an emergency. But what I really need is your licenses, which I will use to buy nothing. Okay, I just realized that I now have no reason to sell anything because I've reached the maximum amount of money that I could hold. So now every single item I pick up is useless to me because... Okay, I have almost maximum uh, uh, Omnigel, so I suppose I can get that, but once I get past that, then every item is pretty much useless. 
much sleep since the attack. Yeah, is there something you need? What do you know about the hot labs? Nothing. I didn't work there. As far as I know, Han Olar was the only survivor. Is he in the medical ward? No, he's staying in the science team's quarters. Be gentle with him. He had a trying experience. I'll talk to you later. Remember to report any suspicious noises. Ah, that goes to the medical bay, which should go to the remaining survivor of the hot labs. What, what, what do you want? I didn't mean to bother you. No, you did nothing wrong. I'm just distracted. What happened to these people? They're suffering from a toxin. There was an accident. I have a non-disclosure agreement. I shouldn't discuss it with anyone outside of the company. <laughs> you don't want to break those NDAs. Because I might be able to help. But I'd like to think that the company finds our lives more valuable than their secrets. You know Mira, the VI for Peak 15? She handles the safety protocols for our experiments here. We reactivated her on our way through Central Station. That was you? I'm grateful. Until she came online, the automatic equipment wouldn't work. We lost the connection to Mira in the middle of an experiment and the quarantine failed. These hmm. three were exposed to a toxin, something we were working on. I understand your caution, but I need details. What you say won't go beyond these walls. It's a Especially since it's likely uh, bad publicity. On the frontier. They want For everybody. To kill the creature. But there was no profit in something that kills one species on the frontier. We kept working on it and adapted it to affect more species. Forest B is highly infectious, but can't pass from one person to another, like a bio-war attack without a pandemic spread. Do you imagine that distinction makes this ethical? Militaries, governments, they'll get this kind of weapon one way or another, and we're trying to limit the damage. I know you can't see that. So, they want to make a super weapon uh, in order to prevent other people from making more dangerous super weapons because they'll be like hey this super weapon is available so we're not going to even bother making our own because we got this one although to be fair um that is essentially the plot of uh, mass effect this technology uh that we've discovered the mass effect drives we just found it uh we are we we, did, we don't go around f trying to figure out how to make our own because uh like we already have the ability to travel through space uh easily using the mass effect drives so we don't have to worry about researching that is there a cure doctor a treatment our first priority was getting it working we were close to synthesizing an antidote when mira went down our notes and equipment are locked in the quarantine labs. Captain Ventralis doesn't want to risk more contamination. Is he right to keep people out? No, the toxin has a brief period of viability. After that, it breaks down into simple protein chains. But he won't listen to me. I'll talk to him. Maybe I can convince him to let me try. I can't ask you to do this officially, but if you can do anything, I'd appreciate it. Talk to you later. I hope you can do something. Alright. So there's just the sick people. Alright, the, uh, the doctor I'm looking for is not here. Uh, but as you can see, this is much more involved than... Uh, the other, uh, planets. Something you need? I've heard about the problems in the quarantine lab. I'd like to recover the toxin cure. God, I wish we could help those guys. I really do, but we can't risk contamination now. We're not part of your defense plans. We're consuming extra rations, extra metagel. Yeah, but you also have extra guns. We are pretty awesome. You want to gamble with your life, you're not under my command. 
I'll have the guard let you in, but he'll lock the door behind you. He'll run a full scan before he'll let you out. If there are any anomalies, you stay in there. Those are reasonable precautions. I'll radio ahead to let the guard know. Good luck. I've got work to do. You and me both. All right, now I can actually head into the ah <laughs> into the quarantine zone. Some like sometimes like you're just walking down the street, like your foot gets caught on the curb, and then your spotty just starts vibrating all over, all out of control. Like you know how that happens. You just like eh. You just start bugging out. That's how realistic uh, Mass Effect is. Also, there was no security guard to let me through, so maybe there later on? Also, notice how the doors here use the same doors as uh, seen in some of those... Um, uh, secondary missions, those side missions. Like the one in the, I believe the one in the moon uses the same door as this. But I'm guessing like with a game this large, like you've got, and for a new uh, game for the studio, a uh, new IP, um, And then the first hydrogen says, yeah, I'm positive. I'm positive. <laughs> yep. You're not part of the crew. I have Ventralis's permission to go in there. Yeah, he radioed. He also said you have to prove you're not contaminated to get out. You got a death wish? You should stand watches on the barricade. Anybody in there? Nope. What about here? A medical kit. Oh, that will be useful for later. See, this one has average decryption. Let's see how if, if that's any different. So yeah, just uh, five button presses. I guess that's the problem with having such a basic uh, puzzle to kind of do all of your hacking, decrypting uh, needs. Okay. Is this a new puzzle? Dun dun dun. She's surrounded by Geth and pointing a gun at us. <laughs> You're not as stupid as you look. Weapons free. Ah <laughs> uh, no, no, I'm just splayed out on the ground forever. Uh, so many boxes. But yeah, that logic is pretty strong. Are you surrounded by my enemy who have, who is not fighting against you? And you're pointing a gun at us? You're probably one of the bad guys. Oh. Hmm. I guess I don't have to prove uh, they came out of there. that I was uh, not infected. You mean the get the inorganics the Asari had with her? Benezia brought them with her. I need to know more about those things out there. About the Rachni? Rachni? That's preposterous. Where did they come from? Where did they go? They found it in a derelict ship. An egg. The waiting since the last battles. 
They brought it here. Shut up! God, you want to get us killed? <laughs> I don't have any control over who lives or dies here. Do you? If you're going to be crazy, be the quiet kind. Crazy? I'm sane. God, am I sane. I need to know everything about the Rachni. I told you all I can. We brought the Rachni back from the dead. In retrospect, a bad decision. Okay, so the Rachni are mentioned earlier on. Uh, they are creatures that had attempted... That were more or less taking over the universe. Um, and the Krogan... Um, put a stop to them. Um, although the Krogan putting a stop to them is kind of like the Simpsons episode where uh, like the whole town is like filled with uh, I forgot what creature runs rampant around the town and they're like oh we'll just uh, deal with them by letting loose the bees and like well but what about the bees oh we'll just uh, take care of the bees with bears and then it's just a, a line of like different replacement uh, villains so to speak until uh, you, you actually clean out the system uh, so the Krogan basically just replaced the Rachni, and that is why the Krogan were eventually neutered, uh, so to speak. How can I get into the maintenance area? A team lead would have access, like Dr. Cohen. He's in the medical bay. Okay, uh, so I go to Dr. Cohen, get access to maintenance, and then... Could Matriarch Benezia survive in the hot labs? It's possible that the specimens were sensitive to biotics. Although I should remember to go take care of the hot labs thing first, I believe. Is that the cure? You did it? That a sorry scientist, the one in the mess hall? She just tried to kill us. Alestia? That's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. I, uh, I don't know much about her. She arrived a month ago. One of the shareholders pulled strings to get her here. Let me guess, Saren the Spectre? Yes. I think that was the name. I, I don't pay attention to the other research teams. Look, the guards, they've been more on edge since you got here. I think hmm. they were expecting you. And there are more labs in the back. The guards won't even let me back there. Just people with clearance. What about the maintenance area? Do you have access to that? The maintenance area? Yes. Take my pass. But there's just snow back there. Let me see that file. An extension on Phelps' work? I thought he was on the right track. I can't thank you enough that... Oh, God, what a cliché. You saved their lives, do you know that? I don't think I actually need any Menagel. But I'm going to ask the anyway. House? They're worth their weight in gold up here. You didn't get these from me. And Trollis wanted them saved for his people. I need to administer this. Thanks again. Yeah, I didn't need it, but I decided I wanted to take the Paragon approach. Uh, because I seem to have been getting an farther enough with Paragon than I have with Renegade. So hopefully by the end of the game, I will have uh, more Renegade points. Or, sorry, uh, enough Paragon points to deal with Um, to deal with Saren. Now I remember. So I need to get the access to the maintenance because that gives me the back way in, which means I don't have to go the front way, which means that the guards don't decide that I'm the enemy, which means that I don't just go blasting everybody. Uh, just because uh, Benezia has kind of like almost secured them as a fourth line of defense against her. Like, people that necessarily should be my allies stop being my allies because they're trying to protect company secrets. But for now, I believe the hot labs are nearby here. 
Well, they're restricted area. Ah, that's, uh, there's the hot labs. So let's go in this direction. Which takes us into the ice. Which would make sense that, uh, like, there might be areas outside of the building inside the ice in order to explore. Although I wonder how easy it is to kind of drill through ice itself in order to construct your own uh, facility. What have we got here? So this lure leads to the restricted area, and the other door leads towards the hot labs. Okay, so that is essentially the end of the uh, the front way into the into the building, and by getting closer to the elevator meant I was detected by the security systems, which would mean that on my way up, all of the uh, guards would essentially be against me, including, I believe, the guards at the uh, main gate. And that is something I want to avoid. Oh. And... Probably should save my game, because here is Benezia. So next time, we shall confront Benezia. And then, uh, make one sm more step towards, uh, taking down Saren. Thank you for watching. If you've still got the itch for more content, why not give one of those links a try? Got some questions or comments? You can comment down below or send it on over to it sounded good on paper at gmail.com. That's it sounded good on paper at gmail.com. In the meantime, so long, folks.